Good morning, Internet. Craig Chamberlain with Precision-Elect.com here. That's right. This is the actual series of videos I'm going to do on industrial electronics, and today we're talking about the variable frequency drive yet again. As you guys know, we sell these drives online as well as we do complete industrial repair solutions. Check us out. We've been doing this for like 20 years. We are a systems integrator. We don't just sell drives online. We also do full service repair and full service support when you purchase your product from us. We do this in the real world. We don't just sell them out of a warehouse. Uh, we are a small business and we are focused on customer service. Anyways, that being said, today we're talking about wiring the mains voltage to your variable frequency drive. And this video should apply to the majority of drives. Now I'm specifically going to do it with the SM vector, but remember, Drive technology, especially when it comes to wiring your lead or your line side voltage, for those of you who don't know what that means, it's basically the voltage that comes out of your wall. Um, when you're wiring your line side voltage to it, it's pretty much universal, but you'll probably have to check your manu manual to find out exactly where you're going to land your wires. Of course, make sure you take all the necessary safety procedures and make sure this is done by a qualified electrician. And you know, I gotta throw that out there as a disclaimer because you can kill yourself with electricity. So make sure that you are taking all the necessary precautions to make sure you're protecting yourself. So this is an SM vector variable frequency drive. I have the manual pulled up and it's the first thing you always wanna do when you are working with a piece of equipment, get a hold of the manual, very important. If you go to our website, precision-elec.com, precisionelec.com, you can go to support and go to technical manuals and that'll let you pull up the SM vector in this particular case, operating instructions manual. And I went ahead and pulled it up in advance so I went to the right section. Now typically in your manual they'll have a, a category, something very similar to this. This one's the mains connection or the line side connection. Uh, and in this particular case, this is a 120 volt drive. You'll probably know what drive you have if you bought it. Um, but I'm gonna cover how to do kind of both. You have your single phase and you also have your three phase. This one is a single phase, 120 volts. So it's very similar to uh, look at this. what will come out of your wall. This is just a basic plug. So essentially, <clears throat> if you look at the print here on my page, you'll notice that the mains connection for the 120 volt single supply has the wiring diagram right here. Now they recommend that you fuse the hot wire, that's your L1, and that's the, basically the hot wire. In my case, it'll be the brown wire. I'm sorry, the black wire. And this is the wire that actually carries the voltage on it. Uh, my common or my neutral will be my white wire. And the green wire will be my ground. And you wanna make sure you have a ground as well. And essentially, what I'm gonna make sure that I do is that I land the proper wire to the proper lead, because if I don't do that, then you can damage your drive. So you want to make sure you're wiring it to the right side because on the right hand side on mine the terminals are labeled the exact same. I have an L1, I have an L2, and I have a neutral. Okay so if you look right here on my print I have an L1, an L2, and a neutral and of course my ground is there as well. So I'll take my screwdriver and I will unscrew those particular terminals and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna land my black wire to my L1 and I just, I didn't do this in advance because I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how much of a pain it can be to run wire through here. And you want to make sure, obviously, you don't have any power on it while you're doing this. Like I said, take your time to make sure you're doing all the necessary safety procedures before you do this. I, I really don't want to have you guys message me and say, hey, I watched your YouTube video. I electrocuted myself. Not cool. So then I'm going to wire my white wire to my neutral. If I can get it in there. Come to the world of wiring. It's pretty much how it always goes. And sometimes uh, if you have wire strippers, obviously you're gonna wanna make sure you strip away enough of the wire. And you don't wanna leave too much of the wire exposed at the bottom of the terminals, because remember, you can get arcing. So you wanna make sure the wire fits nice and snug underneath each of the terminals, each of the screw terminals on there. And then you also want to make sure that the screw terminals are nice and tight. Let me go ahead and do this for you guys real quick, and I'll show you what I did as soon as it is finished. It'll take me a second here. Almost done. And now I'm wiring my ground to PE, just like it shows on the print. 
and I, I don't yet have a way to show you guys how I'm doing this while I'm doing it. I'm thinking about doing that, uh, getting at some point a second camera so they can really kind of show you exactly what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Okay, so essentially now I'm all wired up. I have my, uh, my neutral wired to N, I have my hot wire wired to L1, and I have my ground wired to PE. Now that's for the single phase power. Let me see if I can get this plugged in, and hopefully I can show you. I might have to pull the camera off to show you. And you'll see, you may or may not see, can you see that? The keypad came up as soon as I applied power to it. Now another a kind of a goofy thing about the SM vector is the power is applied on the right hand side. That's where your actual voltage is going into the unit, rather than the left hand side. It's not a left to right process. The motor goes on the left side, the power goes on the right hand side. But like I said, depending on the drive you're wiring up, it's going to change uh, the way that you wire it. But as you can see, this is officially powered up. So I did, a pro I did properly apply the power to my drive, pull it out, the caps need to discharge. It takes a little bit for the actual power to dissipate. And as you'll see, it will shut off. You hear that clicking noise? That's it shutting off. So that's pretty much how you wire it on the single phase. Now on the three phase, it's very similar. If we look back here on the manual, um, you'll notice, uh, I'm sorry, there's also a single phase for uh, your L1 and L2. This is for single phase 240 volt. You wanna make sure you fuse both L1 and L2 um, in the, on the ESV N01 series. Uh, and really you can kind of go both ways on this. It's not absolutely necessary that you, uh, you phase the neutral if you're using an L1 and, and neutral. Depending on your, you have to know what your supply side is. Uh, some people will just have one hot wire and a neutral for their 230 volt single phase. Other people will have two hot wires for their 230 volt single phase. If you have two hot wires, you wanna make sure you fuse both. If you have one hot wire, you wanna make sure you only fuse L1. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about fuses here in a minute. Uh, now if I move down to the, uh, we've done the single phase here. Remember that's L1, L2 and ground. And if we scroll down here to three phase, you'll notice that there's an L1, L2, and L3. Uh, and then each one of those also needs to be fused for any of your three phase wiring. So like I said, essentially you wanna make sure you go into your manual and make sure you know what your line side power is, and then you can actually pull up exactly how to land those mains connections on the input side of the voltage. And depending on the drive that you're using, you can also do your fusing through this. Now if I scroll up to the technical information, there is a section for fusing uh, on this particular manual and we'll probably go into that more in a later video but I just want to make sure I can make a note of it here let me see if I can pull it up uh, these are not for fuses that's actual specification data you can spend a lot of time in the manual guys if you're not familiar with the product uh, let's see what we got here here you go fuses and cable cross sections now if you look at here, you'll notice that uh, if I look up my part number for my drive, I can scroll right across and it gives you a recommended fuse. It tells you uh, what the fuse or breaker amp rating is, the recommended amp rating. And uh, it also tells you what the recommended wire size is. And in this case, it's 14 gauge. So this kind of chart is invaluable as well. Uh, you can also apply to the standard electronics uh, chart for wire sizing as well, based on the current rating, if, you, if you're comfortable doing that. And uh, that's pretty much how this, this whole process goes down. You gotta make sure you have the right wire size, you gotta make sure you're fusing your input power, and then you gotta make sure you land the power to the right terminals. And then uh, you're good to go after that. Apply power, screen should come up, make sure you don't put 460 volt on a 230 volt drive, or 460 volt on a 120 volt drive, because it won't be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for coming out to this video. Uh, there's going to be plenty more videos on variable frequency drives and how to wire them up. This is the industrial electronic series of my channel. Uh, so you can ask any questions. And remember, don't hesitate to contact us at Precision Electric, precision-elec.com. If you have any questions about drives or you're looking to purchase one, if you have any drive repair requests or anything like that, or any, any repair requests in the industrial electronics world, we do just about everything. And if we don't, we'll tell you. How's that work? Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully this helped you. And uh, in the next video, we'll be wiring up a motor to it. That one right there, actually. We're going to show you guys how to spin it. Uh, maybe. Yes, probably. Maybe how to tune it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This is kind of something I'm figuring out as I go along. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.